Hey guys, Ryan O'Connor with you again. And in this video, we're gonna explain what custom objects are, as you know, and it being the 24th of October, you know that this video is coming at you on the week of Level Up Summit for High Level 2024. As we speak, it is still going on. So stay with me and I'm gonna run through a number of new updates. But in this video, we're gonna explain exactly what custom objects are and why you should care. And I'm gonna to try to do that within about three or four different reasons. So stay tuned. Don't forget, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. So point one, what are custom objects and why should you care? So we've always had some familiarity around what custom objects are. Um, and you know that we've known that be, be coming for quite a while. So for those of the uh, people in this community that are unfamiliar, we've always had the object contacts within high level. Contacts are the main object. Contacts can contain lots of properties and those properties are things like your phone number, your email address, and so on. So you know, a good way to think about what an object is, is if we wanted to build you know, something like my son's created here in Lego, he uses different objects and creates relationships between the objects by attaching them. We can call that attachment and association, which, you know, if we wanna go a little bit more broadly, we could say that we could define the relationship between the different things on a piece of Lego like this with say the engine. You know, the engine can contain multiple wheels, for instance, right? But you can't have many engines on many wheels. And so the way we describe the relationship when we're building what we're building is super important, okay? When we think about this in terms of relational database modeling, we talk about the uniqueness of something, okay? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, let's use a very simple example in the context of contacts. So if I have a contact, contact can contain a phone number. In fact, it can contain more than one phone number. But do we need a database of phone numbers so that this contact can have a phone number and that another contact can share the same phone number? And we say no you wouldn't build a database model that looks like that. We say, why? You say, well, the phone number is a unique piece of information that can only belong to one contact. So therefore, it doesn't need its own object. It doesn't need its own table. It only needs to exist as a property against the contact object. It's just not that important. So here's another example. You know, let's say that we're, you know, a restaurant business, right? That restaurant can have many tables. It can also have many people serving, right? So you can have a server. You can also have many dishes that you can order off of a menu. You might say that you can have many menus, but all of the things that we're describing, you're describing in the case of its uniqueness, and the case of its relationship to other objects. So let's use the relation, uh, the restaurant example again. So I'm building an application. I wanna build the application in a no code builder and I wanna build it for the restaurant business. Well, as of today, 24th of October, Hyvel have made it possible and you should be extremely excited about it don't let my straight face fool you. I'm trying to get as much of this in one take as I possibly can. So what it means is that I can now use high level to build my own you know, line of business application in say something like the enterprise or a fully fledged system that works beyond just CRM. Now I can actually create data models that will work with me and my application the way I see fit. You know, and normally these systems have already been created. So if we think about the home services business, HVAC and so on, there's lots of service platforms and software solutions out there. And high level to date has had to suffer and interoperate or extend so that 
we can pass information from one application to another. By creating custom objects, it means that we no longer must look to third-party applications in line of business or other you know, functions within an industry like a service industry. We can build these things natively within the application itself, turn that into no longer a snapshot, but an actual application. And I think that the opportunity this gives every high level agency and user on the planet is now kind of unprecedented. Just like when salesforce.com released their custom objects, you were able to then build enterprise applications or ERP systems natively within Salesforce. And that's essentially how they became so big by allowing the business themselves to build their own applications on top of the platform they were subscribing to. You know, it was called Salesforce after all. Salesforce history was building a CRM and in fact the ticker on the New York Stock Exchange is CRM. So this is exactly where they started and they started by using a customer as the very first object and we call that in high level a contact and all they did was have the vision and the foresight to say we don't know what other objects need to exist there's always a person which is so therefore there's always a contact so we know that we can build that in a hard-coded way into high level but we don't know what other use cases are out there and in fact we don't care what other use cases are out there we're going to make it so that anyone can build anything for any use case so let's use the restaurant example one more time i'm you know i've got my lego pieces and i've started with my contact record what i want to do however is i want to be able to track my orders so i'm going to need to create an order object and I want to relate it to my contacts object. So the way that I describe that is important. You know, is it something that is singular? Is it a one-to-one -one relationship? No, because a contact can come into the restaurant more than one time. So therefore a contact must be able to contain many orders. Okay, you can't just go into a restaurant and order once and that's it. Then you might say, well, how would I track who in my staff owns the order for that table? So what we can say here is let's add a third object and relate it. And now I'm gonna say, well, I've got a, an object called servers. They're not users of the system, but they're servers. One server can have many orders and one contact can have many orders you might go one extra layer and say well what table is the order for and so now we have four pieces and four objects that need to be related together in some way and you can say well tables don't have servers right however they can have many orders and you'll say okay great we can have a server who owns a table a table can have many orders and the orders belong to one or more contacts and so that's a very simple way to describe how you're going to end up eventually with a fully fledged enterprise system that can do some of the things that we just described so if you're not thinking about how you can use custom objects to build way more robust, way more customized solutions for your industry verticals, if you're a high level agency owners, then I highly encourage that you start looking at custom objects in a very serious way. Now, don't forget, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Quick update, so this feature is only available on the 497 or SAS Pro plan with high level. Good news for you is if you're not already on that plan, then there's a link below. You upgrade through Growthables link and not only we will give you either 
free 24 hour a day, seven day a week support for all your clients. That goes to up to 10 clients. If you've already got more than 10 clients, well then we're gonna give you 40% off any of our plans, apart from our top plan called the dedicated plan for 24 hour support and unlimited onboarding. So the value in upgrading to custom objects through Growthable is unmatched. So click the link below, upgrade through us and enjoy free courses, paid courses, snapshots, snapshot installation, one-on-one -on -one coaching, 40% off free support, you know, whatever you got to lose, click that link below. Now, the reason that I haven't done any screen share today is because the functionality is still limited, right? There's still not the ability to create a one-to-many relationship and there's still not the ability to create new record types inside the custom objects. So I haven't bothered with a screen share today, but this video will be updated in the future, um, hopefully within the next week or so, with an actual demonstration and implementation of the custom objects in real life. So stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this explanation. If you've got any feedback that's hopefully nice, please comment below and let me know what you think. That's been uh, my video on custom objects. Stay frosty and uh, work less, profit more.